and uh, an extension of all the trade and commerce development for various cities of South India uh, is being initiated by uh, the office here. And uh, we are hoping and looking for a lot of cooperation uh, from our Ministry of External Affairs and also from the various embassies. And Madam Excellency from the UK Embassy is giving us all the support for uh, developing these trade relations uh, and uh, other social and cultural aspects of uh, building and strengthening the bilateral relationships. So I would uh, I would leave the floor to you to uh, ask any questions that you might have. In the press conference, we are also joined by Mr. Chris Paul, who is uh, spent 20 years in Africa and is the vice chairman of the Area Africa Trade Council, and uh, he is also going to be a very rich resource on understanding Indian and African trade relations. He is here, and we finally have our host in Tamil Nadu, uh, Mr. Ramakrishnan, who is going to be uh, an appointed director today of the Indian Trade Council office, the Africa Trade Council, specifically uh, addressing the Kobesa region, uh, because Africa is a very big continent, a very big region, and uh, we have divided into different zones, and so we have got uh, the Kobesa director, and he is going to be uh, taking a lot of initiatives in building these uh, multilateral relationships with different countries. And uh, today our focus country is Ethiopia, and uh, it's a very important country for us, for India. Therefore, we're going to be looking forward for all the support and for all the encouragement from our students. Also, the LK Academy. Corporate is basically into consulting services, to niche consulting, which is more than what they are doing, and it's priority to etc. As part of the portfolio, we also handle uh, corporates, which means that across industries uh, we serve. That is one of the reasons why uh, I was invited for the uh, webinar that is to place in number 30th. I was asked to get, make a presentation on the COMESA of Indian uh, COMESA relationship. So uh, I did the presentation. Where I found that uh, most of the African countries, yeah, between Africa and India, we have a lot of things in common. For example, the uh, forest, uh, forest reserves, as also the agri reserves, quite huge, quite huge, uh, which is not being tapped properly. That's what I feel. So that needs to be the focus uh, for the first, uh, first uh, to start the relationship. Um, now, COVID, I think, is one of the uh, key things that has happened in the world. Uh, in India, basically, we found that uh, COVID did not affect People who have a good immunity levels and those people who had a clean life, uh, they are not affected. Disciplined food, not infected. So uh, most of the food what we take, particularly in South Indians, uh, like our, uh, you know, uh, uh, turmeric, uh, garlic, all these are uh, you know blended or added to the uh, uh, as a spice to these foods. So therefore, the immunity level has gone up uh, very well. So therefore, most of us are not affected by the uh, COVID. So uh, that's one. The second, so which means agro pharmaceuticals and agroceuticals will be one of the focus areas uh, in the relationship which I am going to take it forward. And particularly from Tamil Nadu and uh, Pondicherry and Kerala, I think uh, all of us agree that we have focus on uh, agro uh, results. So, uh, for example, uh, I can tell you a few products which you are trying to uh, uh, introduce. For example, for the eye, uh, vitamin A is a, a key component. Uh, it's a product called beta carotene. Beta carotene is uh, chemically manufactured worldwide. But the same beta carotene is available in blue green algae, which can be you know, developed in lands in uh, Kerala and uh, Tamil Nadu. So these are very good substitutes for uh, chemical products. So, like this uh, with uh, African countries, particularly commercial countries, we can definitely have a, a long way to go. And but I can tell you that I have been living in Africa and African countries for 30 years before I made my home <clears throat> in India. And as it so happened, my first few years living in India were in China. Um, what it allows me to have is having working around about 37 countries across the African continent out of the 55 countries we have is a good understanding um, of how things work or how they not work, um, what can be done and what should be done. Um, it is also my opinion that whatever work is done between um, 
India and uh, any African state is that the partners are to be of equal standing, that there is not one junior partner in it. Um, the pluses are, of course, that both the, uh, the countries of Africa and India all are developing countries, and so is India a developing country. So it is not a sort of top-down kind of um, attitude, I think, that will be approached. Then, that we have um, Comesa here joining us with a office in Chennai is all significant because the, uh, the entrance to South India by sea is Chennai. And I look forward to be part of this incredible journey that is about to be undertaken more, more vigorously than ever before for bringing um, the African continent and the mystic India together. Thank you. And uh, there are so many Indian who are living in different places in Africa. And among all the trade relations between India and Africa is increasing from time to time. And when we come specifically to Ethiopia, Ethiopia has started its relation with India in the first century, where the Indian trader used to go to Ethiopia to sell their silks and uh, spices, whereas they used to buy golds and different kind of precious material from Ethiopia. So, this uh, long years relationship has grown into a better uh, diplomatic level and Ethiopia is the first African country that has started it is embassy established its embassy in, in, in India in 1994 in 1948 just one year after the independence of India this really shows the historic relationship between India and uh, Ethiopia so I believe, uh, even if there are currently, uh, there are uh, more than uh, 600 Indian companies that are operating in Ethiopia, working in different kind of uh, uh, sectors, but I believe the formation of uh, this uh, Indian Trade Council would really help to boost the already existing good relationship between many different countries and India and also with Ethiopia.